There are more and more reasons for you to prepare for home defense. The rough political climate here in the U.S. is one, with the post-election setting giving some sort of odd feeling that we aren't as safe as it used to be. I am not encouraging you to invest in firearms for home defense, but if you want an effective, practical means of protecting your abode and its residents, you should really get a gun. What's up, everyone? This is your boy Ted from Line 45, and today I am going to list all the top choices for home defense guns for 2025 and tell you what makes them good for defending your property. But first, let me do this quick plug. Hit the like and subscribe button. You can see all those buttons below this video. I know it feels like a hassle, but those simple clicks mean a lot for my channel. Now let's get back to the good stuff. Browning A520 Gauge Shotguns will always have a place in home defense. Any shotguns will do. So if you have a Mossberg 500 there or some Benelli, you are actually good to go. But yeah, any new shotgun is fine too, especially if it's a 20 gauge. Compared to a 12 gauge, a 20 gauge shotgun offers effective stopping power with less recoil, making it easier to handle across all types of users, especially women and seniors. It even has an Inflex 2 recoil pad so that you will be able to handle its kick. That's why it made me so glad when Browning decided to release a 20 gauge version of its A5 shotgun. This one is inertia driven, comes with a three inch chamber and includes three Invector DS chokes so that you can use the thing in a variety of applications, not just home defense. It's seriously light too. Without the spacers, the A5 20 gauge should only weigh a little over five pounds, which means that you can effectively utilize it in prolonged combat. Heck, you can even carry this gun with you for the entire day. There are two barrel options for this Browning shotgun, one being a 26 inch and the other being a 28 inch model. I love using shotguns with good triggers. After all, that defines their shootability and accuracy, similar to other types of guns out there. The A5 20 gauge got that. Its trigger, which breaks at five pounds, is impressively smooth and crisp. I really had to factor that one in because I'm amazed by it. Moreover, the A5 has a feature called quote-unquote Speed Load Plus, which automatically chambers the first shell loaded and allows quick unloading from the magazine tube. This is especially convenient for home defense, when you literally want zero downtime. Colt Python Blued Similar to shotguns, almost any revolver should be suitable for home defense. Wheel guns are seriously reliable, and with the right cartridge, they can really scare anyone. The Colt Python is one of those revolvers I am talking about. By the way, I am referencing the new Pythons and not the legacy models. The reason for this is that the new Colt snake guns are significantly tougher, and more materials are used on them. Basically, this means that they can handle a beating. In the case of the new Colt Python, it's now more effective in shooting 357 Magnum rounds. Initially, the reintroduced Python was in a stainless steel finish. There's seriously nothing wrong with that one. But of course, a lot of people were asking if they could get that old-school blued python. Surely enough, Colt loves spoiling its customers, which is why we have the blued version of the snake gun now. But of course, it's not just about the aesthetics of the revolver that have been improved. From the viewpoint of home defense, the new python is really a lot better than many revolvers. Its action has been improved by keeping the parts to a minimum. While it's true that it still has leaf mainspring, it has been enlarged and structured so that it can maintain good action. This revolver has a manageable recoil impulse, which is another reason why it's a good SHTF gun. It won't bite you back at all, and the way it was assembled is so balanced that pointing or handling isn't really a chore. By the way, you should get its 6-inch barrel model, as that one is more manageable and accurate than the bunch. Springfield Armory 1911 Operator AOS For home, I strictly think that full-size handguns are better than smaller guns. They have a longer sight radius, which should ensure that you can aim better and shoot more accurately in high-stress situations. I have nothing against compact or micro-compact guns, but for this specific application, you should only prefer guns like the 1911 Operator AOS. As its name suggests, the 1911 Operator AOS is a 1911 pistol, which is a guarantee that it is hella accurate smooth on the trigger, and comes with reliable actions. Moreover, if you can train with this gun, I am pretty sure that it could produce more solid results. But unlike other 1911s, 
The Operator AOS isn't something that will hurt your budget. It's not an over 3000 bucks pistol with super upgrades and customizations. It's a plain 1911, and there's really nothing so bad about that. Of course, one specific update on its design is the inclusion of the AOS optic system, which is actually designed with agency arms. Basically, you can toss different plates on the slide of this pistol so that you can use a number of optics on it. All of these footprints from Dr. Shield and RMR can be fitted here. The forward serration on the slide is a nice touch, given that it will let you do quick press checks during actual combat. Though it's not overly expensive, the 1911 Operator AOS already possesses a fantastic assembly. The Cerakote finish, for instance, is flawless. It even got VZ grips for a more secure hold while under recoil. Then, there's the fact that it uses a 1 in 16 twist, match grade stainless steel barrel that optimizes the accuracy and stability of the rounds. It's such a boost to its performance. FN 15P 300 Blackout Home defense doesn't have to disturb others, and if you wish to do so, you can take care of the business without notifying anyone. If that's your thing, the new caliber of the FN 15P should work in your favor. The 15P, or what others frequently refer to as quote-unquote baby SCAR, is a smaller version of the SCAR SC. Since it was introduced in the market, people have been interested in it because it got a green pass from the NFA. The thing is sub-20 inches long, so it's definitely maneuverable in tight spaces, which is an advantage, especially if your home is quite tight on the inside. Now, the original 15P is chambered in the 5.56, which is not bad, but I am pretty sure that people wanted more. FN took note of this, and fast forward to today, the 15P and 300 Blackout is now available. What is so good about the Blackout is that it really works well with guns that are inherently suppressed. Because of this, FN decided to tinker with the 15P a bit and included regular gas settings for handling those supersonic and subsonic rounds and a flash hider integrated into its barrel. Even its Magpul PMAG 300 magazine is specifically designed to handle the distinct structure of 300 blackout rounds. And oh, this magazine holds 30 rounds. I don't know if this is already on the roll, but as far as I know, FN has a plan to make 300 blackout assemblies for the 15P, and you can have these components swap to your 5.56 model to the 15P so that you don't have to buy a new gun anymore. That's pretty nice if you ask me. Smith & Wesson FPC 40 s and The FPC carbine is one of the newest guns of Smith & Wesson in 2024, and it's pretty distinct since it uses the same mags, external controls, and grip as the M2.0 pistol. So, if you have an M2.0, it's pretty much easy to get acquainted with the FPC. It has a suppressor and optics-ready design, so you can tailor it to fit for home defense or tactical applications. There are its M-Lock accessory slots, too, on its handguard which basically tell you that you can toss different weapon accessories on this gun. If the M-Lock slots are not enough, you can still fully utilize its Picatinny rail on the top of its barrel. Speaking of, the barrel of the PFC has a length of 16 inches. Keep in mind that it's a threaded barrel with a 1 to 2 by 28 TPI, and this is the reason why I said that the FPC is compatible with suppressors or muzzle devices. Now initially the FPC was only available in 9mm. The 9mm isn't a bad cartridge for a carbine, but for home defense, I think the 40 s and is better. It has more stopping power and might penetrate barriers better than the 9mm. Sure, I don't like my walls to get damaged if intruders decide to sneak in, but I really wouldn't hesitate to put holes in the walls and furniture if it means the safety of my home and family. Moreover, the FPC has a standard capacity of 15 plus 1 rounds on its flush fit mag and 20 plus 1 rounds on its extended magazine. It also gives you the freedom to tinker with its grip since the package ships with several palm swell insets of the M2.0 pistol. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and notification bell. Just press all the buttons. Those little clicks are free, but they help the channel a lot. Stay sharp, stay safe, and remember, it's not just about the shot, it's about mastering the craft. Until next time, Lock and load.